So this video is going to serve as a tutorial on how to use our hog scale. Um, if you get the hog scale, it's on this trailer. It's a two inch ball. Uh, it's usually strapped over the top right here to keep the hog scale from bouncing around. Uh, when you take it into the pin, there's two handles back here. That you can lift up and you can wheel it into your pen. Uh, it gets kind of heavy wheeling it like this. If you go a little bit further up, like this, right about here, it makes it a lot easier to maneuver this hog scale. Um, and so that's usually how I walk it into the pit. First thing you want to do is position this scale on an angle in the corner of your pen. So imagine that if we're on a trailer right here, if I want to position this in the corner, I'm going to turn it so that that each corner is touching one of the sides and then I can open up this scale right here and it's a lot easier to get get the hogs to go inside the scale. Uh, second thing you want to do is zero it out. So to zero it out, uh, first thing you want to make sure is that there's no weights on here. Uh, you bring this, this beam all the way back to the zero part right here. And then what you should see is you should see this sitting right in the middle. So if you go all the way to the top, it's going to bob. If you go all the way to the bottom, it's going to bob up. Um, if you're unsure if you're zeroed out or you don't trust the scale, uh, this is not a certified scale for sale. You can't sell anything because it's, 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 it's off probably somewhere between 5 and 10 pounds. Each of the weights that we have are stamped. 150 pound weight. Got a 50 pound weight. We've got a 100 pound weight. If you know that your pigs are over 150 pounds, you can take the 150 pound weight and stick it right on here, and you're ready to go. Um, whatever, you, whatever you get on this beam, you're gonna take that number, add it to 150 pounds. So if this beam is sitting at 50, and it's balancing right here in the middle like this, 150 plus 50 is 200 pounds. You got a 200 pound pig, or 100 pound lamb or whatever um, and then you can adjust it accordingly so I'm gonna have an assistant come up here and we're gonna weigh her so she's gonna come up here and we're gonna show you how to do this so right now I I'm assuming the person that I'm gonna weigh is less than a hundred pounds so she's gonna go into the pen and Assuming that we had it zeroed out correctly, we could do this one of two ways. She's gonna stay in the middle. I can just run this up. She's, we know that she's about 72 pounds. So we put that on the 72 pound mark and you see how this is just bobbing right here. The other thing you could do, we could add the 50 pound weight right here. So there's my 50 pound weight and then I could come to my 22 pound mark and it's also bobbing right there. So either way, we're getting the same amount. 50 plus 22 is 72. When you're all the way done, the only thing that we ask that you do is um, clean it up. Take a hose and really wash the scale off. So we're not transporting worms or parasites or anything uh, that your pig might have or, or lice. The end.